Stupid dogs, they're always cute, they're too cute, and then they just do, oh, they don't throw things at you. That's why I love dogs, they don't throw, no, that's okay. A dog might, who knows. Now the Crush Grind that I had reviewed long ago was the Brazil, and this one is called the Columbia from what I understand. There's not too much on the box, I mean there's a story on the back, the story of Crush Grind Coffee. Coffee is always a good idea, agreed, it definitely is. Um, Packaging is pretty straightforward. There's the device, I'm interested to see what it looks like because it looks like a little robot. It looks like a robot. And I'm, I'm interested in that. So let's see what this is all about. I haven't had hands on this, just like all of our unboxings. I haven't had hands, hands on it before. It gets thrown at me, literally thrown at me. And then I get to see what it's all about. So instructions. Crush Grind is based in Denmark. I remember that. Yeah, and it's the Columbia. Now, interestingly enough, it doesn't say anywhere on the outer packaging that it's the Columbia. I only knew this was called the Columbia before I opened it up because of... Uh, production manager, handler of all things, Igor, here in the studio. I wouldn't have known until I opened that up. It just seems weird to me, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Let's see what the Columbia is all about. Packaged nicely. Got this plastic holding the handle on. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. Let's just do that. So that, hey, that feels cool. This is the handle. It's got the Crush Grind little logo right there. It feels pretty solid. It's plastic. It's not rubberized. That's okay. I'm all right with that. Let's see what. So that's that's a pretty small grounds catch jar. So just first impression. That's that's small. This is obviously not for making anything more than just uh, a single serve cup of coffee. And if you were looking to do espresso, AeroPress, maybe some pour over, something like that. And let's just kind of feel this out. So there's this little silver nub here, which I don't think does anything. Nope, looks like it's just a silver nub. It's a magnet for the handle. Oh, it's a magnet? It's a magnet. That's cool. Okay. They just told me that here. Brian, it's a magnet. Okay, well, I'm, I mean, I would have figured it out, maybe. I probably wouldn't have. This is, this is why it's good that I get managed here. Now, um, let's see. All right, so this is ceramic burrs. So I'm trying to adjust this without putting the handle on, and that is really hard. So let's pop the handle on. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, all right. Feels clicky, real clicky, to make the adjustments right here to the burrs. I like the feel of it, it's really smooth. I can't totally show you the burrs because they are, hey, look, that's the reason for the magnet stick, the thing on. It's just hard to see, and we would need to take this apart potentially to show you, and I don't think we necessarily need to do that. This is, again, just an unboxing. Um, but it feels smooth, and everything fits together nicely, except I keep dropping that handle. Somebody at Crush Grind is gonna get in touch with me and be like, Brian, why do you like dropping things? Um, this feels smooth though. I like this. So this is kind of interesting. This little hole right here kind of is really good for my thumb, I'm finding, for turning. I think the only thing that's a little strange is that there is not anything covering the top. I don't think I'm missing anything. Nope. Um, so there's not anything to cover while you're grinding, but that's okay because you're really not going to put that much coffee in here. You're going to grind and that's going to be it. But here is the reason for that magnet that again, they were like, hey, Brian, it's a magnet. I'm like, okay, now I got it. So the magnet right here, if you take that little hole where I was placing my thumb for grinding, you place that over the uh, shaft of the burrs and then that magnet keeps the handle on here. And then this sort of seals it up. So that's cool. You could probably throw some coffee beans in there potentially, <laughs> and uh, and carry it around. I don't know that you necessarily want to do that, but it fits together really well. So for portability, this is a cool little device, and I like, I like it. 
it's cool. And like I say, I really enjoy what Crush Grind does. I've used a Crush Grind before, the Brazil, and it was really awesome. So this, this feels good. Now, uh, talking about grinding with it and everything like that, we'll be doing that in another video. This is just an unboxing, one of our classic Throw It At Brian unboxings. Um, but I'm digging it. It feels good in the hand, and I think this is probably going to be a fun grinder to use. So I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think of Crush Grind or what your favorite hand grinder to use is right now. We've been talking about a lot of hand grinders on French pressedcoffee.com. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video and make sure to visit frenchpresscoffee.com where you can find the Crush Grind Columbia and many other hand grinders and all the coffee gadgets that you need. So there you have it everyone. I'm Brian with frenchpresscoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. Did you like that video? Want more? Give us a thumbs up right down here. And now subscribe and I'm going to give you an awesome coffee quote. Don't worry, I'll wait. It's it's right there. Got it? Got it? All right. All the coffee in Colombia won't make me a morning person.